Okay, guys, we got something from the Toronto Sun come up. Federal report calls for special treatment of immigrants. Wow, I'm an immigrant. What am I going to get? Special treatment. Oh, my parents are immigrants, too. Are your parents immigrants? No, they're not. Oh, they were born in Canada? Yeah, they were born in Canada. Okay, okay, okay. Sometimes, you know, you know, a lot of people come from, from the UK, Europe, you know, and all, all, all from all over the world. Anyways, imagine a government that says we should use taxpayers' dollars to ensure small business hire immigrants over Canadian citizens. Wow. That's a breathful right there. Actually, in Justin Trudeau's Canada, you don't have to imagine that. A government report, one uh, originating from the Prime Minister's own department, is calling for government grants to be used to in, in, whoa, 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 sorry, incentivize small business to hire immigrants. A policy called Feminist Government calls for small and medium-sized business to partner with government to help immigrants get a job using what they call social impact bond. The idea comes from the Division of Privy, uh, uh, Privy Council Office, which reports directly to the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Unlike other job uh, grant programs, this one seeks to have a small and medium-sized business uh, become social service agencies that work with the government in very complex scheme. The proposal includes using money to make sure immigrants, especially immigrant immigrant women, not only get their first job, but are promoted, or as the report says, experience job laddering. Under the social impact bond model, the government and employees employers, sorry, with an input from shareholders, including job agencies, would first agree on specifics of what a successful outcome for an initial hire or job laddering would look like, the report reads. A monetary value would be assigned to each outcome to be paid to the employer or uh, on, comp uh, on completion. And the third-party evaluator would monitor the number of successful outcomes. Okay, let's unpack from the briefcase. Canadian taxpayers would pay Canadian employers to give special treatment to hiring immigrants for their first job. Then, if business promoted those people, they would be paid special incentives. Wow. All the while, the employer would have to work with government, bureaucrats, job agencies, and third-party evaluators to make sure that they, they met plans dreamed up to the, at the highest levels of the civil service, meaning that people that have no idea what it's like to run a small business. Welcome to Justin Trudeau's Canada. The report was issued earlier this year and sat unnoticed in the dark corner of the Government Canada website until uncovered by Tom Korski, the journalist with the uh, uh, sorry, Black Locks reporter. They say that this is, this, this is not government policy, merely a proposal, Korski said. But the fact is, if it's it was written into government employees, and they published it as a proposal. And the proposal was exactly that, to reward small businesses by giving them financial incentive to hire an immigrant over a Canadian uh, over a Canadian single mom, college kid, someone looking for a second job. I get the importance of making immigrants... Uh, immigrants are successful in Canada, and getting that first job is important. In the son of, uh, sorry, I'm the son of immigrants that grew up mostly uh, immigrant in an immigrant neighborhood. Me too. I lived in an immigrant neighborhood. It was all Italian. Still, this proposal stinks. It might be keeping this government views, though. I'm I, sorry. It might be in keeping with gov with the government's views, though. They seem to fetishize, fetishize, fetishize immigrants. View them as more deserving than Canadians. That are already here. Earlier this year, Trudeau's Veterans Affairs Minister, Sumas O'Regan, tweeted, We needed more immigrants because immigrants were better at starting businesses and hiring people that Canadian born res that that Canadian born residents. So what he's saying here, let's say this again. We tweeted, we needed more immigrants because immigrants were better at starting businesses and hiring people that Canadian born residents. The, the number the numbers didn't fully back up on that he put out there in the middle of the debate. 
we have progressive minded government across Canada and the federal and provincial level that made it harder for employers to give anyone a, uh, an entry level job from boosting minimum wages soon doubling Canada pension plan contributors for employers yeah that's that's a big deal doubling um uh pension plans for employers so it's not like you're going to get more when you retire uh, because you go on you go on your pension it doesn't mean that at all it actually means that you, the, the employer has to pay more remittance to the government. Uh, increasing personal days and regulatory burden on hiring anyone. And the government responsive to, uh, re, uh, sorry, uh, re, uh, response to uh, subsidy, but only to hire and promote immigrants. The Trudeau li uh, liberals keep warming up about, oops, sorry, I got a, I got a message here. It's like blocking me here. Sorry, okay, there he goes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Trudeau liberals keep warning about the decisive politics. We'll let me warn them and the and the, the decisive idea. Small and medium-sized businesses don't need to be co-opted into becoming social agencies of the government. Give them a break. Make it easier for them to hire anyone, including immigrants, and this policy problem will solve itself. Go forward with this idea and Canadians will become resentful about the special treatment. So, guys, we got Mayor... Uh, Goldie, uh, Faith Goldie, that's running for the mayor of Toronto, that's trying to fix this problem and putting Toronto first. I want to know what you guys think and what's happening here. I'm not going to comment on this because I'm just going to get flagged and shut down. I want to know what you guys think. Federal report calls special treatment of immigrants. Sorry, guys, I'm reading through the screen. I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to put the text a bit bigger for next time. I keep stumbling upon words, but who cares? You guys get the message of what I'm trying to tell you guys. And uh, from my experience, I've my, my previous business, I had uh, like up, up to six, seven hires at one time, sometimes 11 during Christmas. And let me tell you, man, let me tell you, it, 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 the readmittance is crazy. And if they have to double up on the CPP, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean you're going to make more money. When you retire with your CPP, it doesn't mean, oh, wow, that means I'm going to get more money. No, it doesn't mean. It means the employer has to give out more remittance to cover to cover whatever the government raises it to. It's been very hard to hire people. That's why I work alone here at the store. I work by myself. I do my own thing. I go home. I pack all the stuff I sell, um, list stuff during the day while I'm here, watching movies on TV, hanging out. Uh, people come in from all over the place to see me. That, that that's nice. That's I'm happy. I'm living the dream. I'm doing what I want to do, and I'm happy doing what I want to do in my retirement or my semi-retirement years, whatever you want to call it, guys. A lot of people say, "Oh, you're still working." Yeah, but I'm doing what I want to do. You know, I open shop when I want to shop. Uh, open shop. I close when I close. I do what I want. I take vacation when I want to take vacation. I don't have to worry. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Why is this happening? Why are they selling out the Canadian proper? First of all, they sold us out. Uh, basically when uh, the housing crisis and then they made it harder for employers to, to hire us and then now they're making it impossible for us to get hired period you know comment below let me know thanks for watching